So good morning, everyone. Today is the continuation of my previous video where I talked about what scientific management is all about, how it was been evolved. Now, in today's video, I will be talking about all the principles of scientific management in detail. The first one is science, not rule of thumb. What, what we mean by science, not rule of thumb. Remember that here, after science, comma is there. Means here, everything will be implemented or everything will be done scientifically. Any type of rule of uh, thumb, me to say, uh, on estimation or hit and trial method or trial and error method, um, intu uh, intuition, prediction, these all things will not do, will not work. Because according to Taylor, each element or component of work should be based on scientific research. According to him, a good manager should always be involved in finding new uh, and improved method of doing work. There should be no place for, uh, uh, we can say, no place for traditional method like rule of thumb, estimation, hit and trial method, or prediction and in intuition. So this we mean by science, not rule of thumb. Right, everything will be done scientifically. It will be research based. Uh, accordingly, they will be taken decisions. If we talk about second principle, it says harmony, not discord. Taylor believed that the interest of managers and the workers were interdependent. I mean to say, uh, both of them depend upon each other, and they are not apart from each other. So efficient running of the organization can be achieved only by cooperation and coordination, or we can say coordinated uh, effort of both the parties. Thus, such type of environment should be created in the organization in which both consider each other to be their associate, or uh, uh, they should not consider themselves as an opponent. So in other words, if uh, we can say the working community uh, should feel that they cannot uh, drive any benefit without the help of uh, managerial class and managerial class should know <clears throat> that their existence is in um, or you can say their existence is important and without their cooperation any work culture cannot stay right this is the second point harmony not discord if we talk about th the third point here we are talking about cooperation not individualism so taylor believed that <coughs> Excuse me. So, if we talk about cooperation, not individualism here, Taylor believed that the efforts of the worker employed in an industry should be based upon mutual cooperation and not on individualism. Because the work of every individual uh, affects the working of other individuals. And manager of each individual's work get affected by other work. Thus, their effort uh, should be collect, uh, we can say, collective and not isolated. So this is the meaning of cooperation, not individualism. Fourth point is maximum output, not restrictive output. So according to the tailor, no stone should be left unturned to achieve maximum output from the available resources. So this would reduce the per unit cost and would help uh, the maximization of the profit of the organization. An increase in the profit will benefit both worker as well as the organization, right? And the very last point of, of the principle of scientific management is development of each man uh, to his greatest efficiency and prosperity. So according to this principle, the manager should uh, select and train the worker in the scientific manner and should provide such kind of motivation and leadership to them that the capability and the work efficiency of each person is developed to the maximum extent. So this uh, entail promotion uh, of the worker. So these are the principles on which scientific management works mm -hmm. and how these things are implemented. That is technique of scientific management. We will be talking in my next video. Till then, thank you.